today we are going to discuss about gyroscopic couple gyroscopic effects this is a new term we are going to discuss so initially let me tell you what is uh, gyroscopic uh, effects and what is gyroscopic couple now there are three mutually perpendicular axes x axis y axis and z axis y axis z axis so there are three mutually perpendicular axes x y and z now there is a rotor it has a uh, moment of inertia it is rotating about x axis it is rotating about x axis in the same time it is uh, <coughs> the this axis known as axis of spin it is rotating about this axis this is axis of spin now it is uh, rotated about the whole system the whole mass is rotated about y axis in this in this direction that is this is known as axis of precision so now this is spinning about x axis now the precision takes it takes place about y axis then there is a couple produced in z axis there are three mutually perpendicular axis in the x axis the disk is rotating now it is precision takes place about y axis that is the whole body is rotating about y axis and then the couple is producing z axis a couple is producing z axis so this is this couple is known as gyroscopic couple this effect is known as gyroscopic effect right now we will this we will discuss detail one by one now so this is a rotor it has a moment of inertia of i it has a moment of inertia i i is equal to m k square it has a moment of inertia it is spinning at the angular velocity of omega it is been spinning about angular velocity of omega now the precision that is rotation takes place about y axis about y axis it is in the um, in this plane it the uh, this is known as axis of precision axis this is axis of precision the rotation that precision takes place so now there is a couple produced in the z axis couple is produced in the z axis that is known as a gyroscopic couple we assume that the moment of inertia of this disk rotating disk is i and it is it is rotating angular velocity of this disk is omega and the angular velocity of precision that is omega p angular velocity of precision is omega omega b then the gyroscopic couple c is equal to i into omega into omega p so this is gyroscopic couple so now we are going to see what is the direction of gyroscopic couple so this is a magnitude of gyroscopic couple now you see from this direction you see from this direction the disk is rotating in uh, counter clockwise direction counter clockwise direction then you keep the uh, hand like this fingers hand like this right so if it is rotating in counter clockwise direction from seeing from this side then you have to keep the hand like this the fingers uh, should indicate the direction of the rotation this fingers is indicating the direction of rotation so it is indicating in this direction that is counter clockwise direction in this direction the fingers indicating the direction of rotation so now the precision takes place about y axis so move the hand move the hand so when the hand is reaching uh, z axis what will be the direction of indication of the finger it will be like this it will be like this then this is the direction of indication of the uh, finger so this is known as active gyroscopic couple active gyroscopic couple but you have to take reactive gyroscopic couple in opposite direction active gyroscopic couple and reactive gyroscopic couple are equal in magnitude but opposite in direction the real gyroscopic couple is this so this is opposite the direction of the fingers opposite the direction of the fingers see here it is active that is if you apply a uh, couple opposite to that the gyroscopic couple will be balanced so this is a direction of the gyroscopic couple what you have to do this uh, this is a axis of spinning so here 
the disc is spinning in counter clockwise direction so you keep the hand like this keep the hand like this finger should indicate the direction of the rotation of the um, this disc now and the uh, disc is spinning about o axis so you move the hand you move the hand also to z axis when if you move the hand to z axis you see what will be the direction of the finger what will be the direction of the finger what will be the direction this will be the direction of the finger now you take opposite direction that is a gyroscopic couple that is a gyroscopic couple the direction of the finger is a active gyroscopic couple but do you want gyroscopic couple this is opposite direction of the finger so the what is the magnitude magnitude is equal to i into omega into omega p i is equal to moment of inertia of the disc omega is equal to uh, spinning uh, spinning angular velocity that is rotation of the disc and uh, omega p is equal to angular velocity of precision angular velocity of precision so this is the basic concept for, uh, concept for uh, gyroscopic couple and gyroscopic effect so here we can see here we can see the direction of active and reactive gyroscopic couple we want this we want this so when this is rotating like this you rotating like this you keep the hand like your finger should indicate in this direction finger should indicate this direction such that you keep your hand and move your hand to uh, z axis that is along the uh, direction of precision now you see the direction of the finger this will be the direction of the finger the opposite is the gyroscopic couple i opposite is the gyroscopic couple that is the direction of gyroscopic couple and this is active gyroscopic couple that will be opposite to that if you apply active gyroscopic couple that uh, gyroscopic couple produce will be nullified but we want gyroscopic couple i into omega into omega p i into omega into omega p that is a gyroscopic couple what is i moment of inertia of the disc what is omega angular velocity of spinning what is omega b angular velocity of precision angular velocity of precision uh, so already i told you what is active gyroscopic couple reactive gyroscopic couple we want this we want this that is this value i into omega into omega p so now once again you can see this is a disc rotating in counter clockwise direction when you view from this direction so you keep the hand like this fingers like this the finger should indicate the direction of the rotation of the direction of rotation of the uh, uh, or you can say direction of spinning of the disc so now the precision takes place in this direction precision takes place in this direction that is about y axis it is rotating so it will reach the z axis so now the hand is here what is the direction of the finger you see this is a direction of the finger this is active gyroscopic couple but we want opposite direction we want in the opposite direction so this is the reactive gyroscopic couple this is what what we want this is what we want what is the value omega in i into omega into omega p this is a value now you take aeroplane in aeroplane the gyroscopic couple is present gyroscopic couple is present now here we have the propeller this is a propeller propeller shaft is inside so the when propeller is rotating in counter clockwise direction when the propeller is rotating in counter clockwise direction that is omega that is omega if you know the n we can calculate omega is equal to 2 pi n by 60 omega is equal to 2 pi n by 60 we can calculate the value of omega now it is spinning spinning about this axis suppose if you if it takes a turn towards left side or towards right side if it is taking a turn towards left side say it is taking towards left side or right side if it is taking uh, towards left side it will be moving with some velocity it will moving with some velocity and at some radius at say radius then omega p will be v by r v by r velocity of the vehicle divided by radius of the curve so the so the aeroplane is like this it is taking a turn like this it is taking a turn the velocity is v and this radius is r the velocity of the aeroplane is v and it is moving over a curve that radius is r 
then omega b omega b is equal to v by r v by r so now if you know the propeller the moment of inertia omega and this omega p we can calculate the value of c that is i into omega into omega p right now uh, there are four conditions we are assuming when the propeller rotates in anti clockwise direction anti clockwise direction so this is the propeller is rotating in anti clockwise direction and the aeroplane takes right turn the aeroplane takes right turn it is taking like this the same rotation the aeroplane is taking left turn then when the propeller rotates in clockwise direction instead of counter clockwise direction it is rotating in clockwise direction and vehicle turning a right turn vehicle taking a left turn so during that condition what will be the uh, magnitude and direction of gyroscopic couple we are going to discuss we are going to discuss when the propeller is rotating in counter clockwise direction vehicle turning left and right when the propeller is rotating in clockwise direction the vehicle is turning left and right so four conditions and what will be the effect of gyroscopic couple we are going to see now you take the first condition when the propeller rotates in anti clockwise direction see when you view from this direction it is rotating in counter clockwise direction and aeroplane takes right turn aeroplane take right turn now the vehicle is taking right turn vehicle is taking right turn so if at the this is x axis x axis now you take uh, you keep the hand like this you keep the hand like this because this is a direction of rotation the same direction you have to keep your fingers you have to keep your fingers now the fingers are showing the direction like this showing direction like this now now the vehicle is taking right turn vehicle is taking right turn so you move the hand like this you move the hand like this now this is a position of the hand position of the hand so now this is a direction of the hand that is active gyroscopic couple but we want reactive gyroscopic couple reactive gyroscopic couple now this is a direction of reactive gyroscopic couple if your couple is acting like this the uh, propeller is rotating in counter clockwise direction and the vehicle is taking a right turn then the reactive gyroscopic couple will act like this so this will dip uh, dip the nose if this is a nose if th this is nose this is tail this is tail now if a couple is acting like this that will dip the nose and raise the tail it will be acting like this so when the propeller shaft is rotating and uh, this aeroplane is taking a turn there will be a gyroscopic couple will be acting in the aeroplane that will dip the nose and raise the tail now we will let us take another condition so here it is a left turn here the same the propeller is rotating in uh counter clockwise direction counter clockwise direction counter clockwise direction and it is taking a left turn taking a left turn then you have to keep the fingers opposite to that uh, sorry fingers the position is right because this is rotating in uh, counter clockwise direction so this is a position of the hand instead of right turn it is taking left turn it is taking left turn so the vehicle is moving like this so you keep uh, now finger position is this this is a finger position now you see the direction of the finger it is like this what is this this active gyroscopic couple so our couple will be opposite to that now this is a direction of reactive gyroscopic couple now this will dip the uh, tail and raise the nose this will be the effect of gyroscopic couple similarly you can see when this is rotating in uh, counter clockwise direction Rot sorry this is rotating in clockwise direction then you got to keep the hand like this you have to keep the hand like this you taking a right turn taking a right turn then this will be the gyroscopic couple this is dipping the tail and raising the nose the same thing opposite now this is rotating in uh, clockwise direction and taking a left turn then this will be the gyroscopic couple this is dipping the nose and raising the tail so whenever you discuss about gyroscopic couple you got to find the magnitude as well as the effect both you have to see now we are going to see one problem one problem an aeroplane makes half circle of 100 meter half circle of 100 meter then what is the meaning so it is taking turn 
So it is moving like this. It is moving like this. Some velocity. The radius is hundred millimeter. Sorry, hundred meter. Radius is hundred meter. Right. So the vehicle, aeroplane, is taking a turn like this. The radius is hundred meter. Hundred meter towards left. Towards left. Flying at four hundred kilometer per hour. It is velocity is how much? Four hundred kilometer per hour. The engine and propeller plane is weight is five hundred kg. Mass of the propeller is m is equal to five hundred kg. And radius of gyration is thirty centimeter. So k is equal to centimeter. That is point three meter. The engine rotates at three hundred rpm. N is equal to three hundred rpm. Anti-clockwise direction. Anti-clockwise direction. So you have to note this. Direction, anti-clockwise direction when viewed from the front end. When viewed from the front end, find the gyroscopic couple and the effects. So first, let us calculate the gyroscopic uh, couple. Then we will see the effect. We will see the effect. Now, what is gyroscopic couple? C is equal to I into omega into omega p. So this is a gyroscopic couple. What is I? I is equal to m k square. M k square. M is equal to 500. K is equal to 0.3. This is the value of I. So I is equal to 45 kg meter square. Now what is omega? Omega is equal to 2 pi n by 60. So 2 into pi into n. N is equal to 3000. 3000 divided by 60. So what is the value of omega? Omega is equal to Three fourteen point one six radian per second. What is omega p? Omega p is equal to velocity divided by radius. So the velocity of the vehicle and divided by the radius. That will be the omega p. Angular and precision. So velocity. So you have to find the velocity. Velocity is given in what is the velocity? Four hundred kilometer per hour. You convert this into Meter per hour. So, if you want to uh, meter per second, if you convert this, four thousand four hundred into thousand divided by three thousand six hundred. This will be the velocity in meter per second. So, radius you put in meter. That is hundred. So, it will give omega p radian per second. Omega p is equal to one point one one radian per second. Now, you calculate the value of c. Gyroscopic couple. I into omega into omega p. I is equal to forty five. Omega is equal to three hundred and fourteen point one six. Omega p is equal to one point one one. So this will give the gyroscopic couple one five seven zero seven seven zero seven. What is the unit? The I is equal to kg meter square. What is omega? That is radian per second per second. Omega p that is equal to per second. Then this is kg meter per second square into meter, right? This meter square meter into meter second second second. So what is kg meter per second? That is equal to newton. Then the unit is newton meter. This is equal to newton meter. So this is a gyroscopic couple. Then now we have to see what is the effect. What is the effect? It is rotating in anti-clockwise. The propeller is rotating in anti-clockwise direction when viewed from the front, and it is taking what type turn? Left turn towards left. So let us see this condition. So the the rotation is anti-clockwise, counter-clockwise direction. So this is clockwise direction. This is clockwise. This is counter-clockwise direction, and taking left turn. So this is a condition. This is a condition. This is rotating in counter-clockwise direction. This is the position of the hand and taking left turn. Take left turn. So this is. So now, what is the direction of the gyroscope? Uh, gyroscopic couple. This is the direction of the gyroscopic couple. You see, the direction of the hand is uh, fingers this direction. You have to take opposite direction. So this is the direction of reactive gyroscopic couple. Now this will dip the nose, dip the nose, and raise the Uh, sorry, this is tail. This is tail. This is nose. This is nose. So rise the nose and dip the tail. 
so this is a effect this is a effect now this is a problem this is see the magnitude and direction direction right so according uh, as per uh, our this is this is counter lens direction taking left turn then there should be the direction of gyroscopic couple uh, sorry this is the direction of gyroscopic couple so this is dip the child raise the nose now you can see the condition the value of gyroscopic couple is this this is in kilo newton meter and raise the nose raise the nose dip the child so this is a effect so whenever you calculate um, gyroscopic couple you calculate the uh, effect also so this is a way you go to solve this problem for aeroplane so now we are going to see for ship so in the ship we have to see some important terms so this is a propeller uh, propeller and this is a propeller shaft <coughs> the vehicle is uh, this is a front side here we call it is a bow the front side of the ship is known as bow back side of the ship is known as stern a stern or aft stern or aft so the back side is known as stern stern or aft and this side is port port side and this is starboard this is starboard there are uh, four important uh, terms we use the front is known as bow back is known as stern or aft and this is port the left side is port right side is starboard uh, and steering steering means this is the top view this is a top view when steering uh, towards right is this towards left is this similarly pitching this is a front view of the ship this is a top view the front view the pitching means moving up and down so when the when the ship is moving on the uh, water sea there is a possibility of pitching also this is steering means left and right pitching means moving up and down rolling means this is a rolling this is a rolling that is about the axis it is rotating so that will be also a very little amount will be there but now you see what is the effect of gyroscopic couple during steering during pitching and rolling we are going to discuss now the propeller is rotating propeller shaft is rotating so while it is rotating if you take a left turn or right turn what will be the gyroscopic couple if it pitches what will be the gyroscopic couple and if uh, rolling takes place what will be the gyroscopic couple that's what we are going to discuss today so these are all the important terms now we are going to see one by one first we are going to see steering first we are going to see steering see this is a ship and uh, when you view from this direction when you view from this direction it is rotating in counter clockwise direction counter clockwise direction when it is rotating in counter clockwise direction you have to keep the hand like this you have to keep the hand like this and it is taking a right turn it is taking a right turn when it is taking a right turn with some velocity some velocity and radius is r how to calculate omega p omega is equal to v by r that is omega p what is omega that is propeller speed 2 pi n by 60 will give the omega i is equal to mk square mk square that you can calculate one by one so this is for steering when steering it is right so what is the direction of the finger this is the direction of the finger then what will be the gyroscopic couple it will be opposite now it is shown here so what will be the effect of gyroscopic couple it will dip the bow front is called as bow it will dip the bow and raise the stern that will be the effect right in the same way instead of right turn if it is taking left turn if it is taking left turn what will be the effect you see the direction opposite to the finger so this will be acting like this this will be acting like this then what will be the effect it will be it will be dipping the stern and Uh, rising the bow, so that will be the effect. Now we will see uh, uh, pitching. So while pitching, the so this is uh, it will be oscillating like this, up and down. It will be oscillating like this. The maximum amplitude is phi. Maximum amplitude is phi. At any position, it is theta. Any position, theta. So phi is maximum. So total angle is below. Also, it will come. Below also it will come by phi. So, but if you total angle, if you take phi is equal to half of the angle, half of the angle. 
So that is from the mean position, what is the maximum angle? This is one side it is phi, another side also phi. So if two if total angle is given, you have to divide by two and you have to find the value of phi. From the mean position, what is the maximum uh, angle? Maximum position of the ship. So the ship is pitching means it is moving like this, moving like this. That is phi value, maximum value. Theta means at any position. So here, if you assume that this, this is a simple harmonic, if this is a simple harmonic, then you can write theta is equal to phi into sin omega naught t. You can write the equation like this. If it is a simple har harmonic, you to find theta at any position, then you can use this angle. This is a maximum amplitude. You're gonna use this equation. D theta by dt, d theta by dt. That is known as omega p. That is known as omega p. Here, omega p is d theta by dt. That if you want to calculate, psi into sine, sine means cos, cos omega naught t into omega naught. Then the equation will be psi into omega naught into cos omega naught t. So if you find the maximum value, omega p will be equal to psi into omega naught. Psi into omega naught. What is psi? This is a maximum angle. You have to put in radians. What is omega naught? If you want to calculate the omega naught, that is 2 pi by tp time period. That is for oscillating, it is moving up and down. It takes some time for one oscillation. That is tp, time period for one oscillation. So if you want to calculate omega p in case of pitching, what do you have to do? Phi into omega naught. Phi is will be given in the problem. You convert it to radians. And omega naught is equal to 2 pi by tp. What is tp? This is a time period for one oscillation. We can calculate the value of omega. So, in case of pitching, if you want to calculate the gyroscopic couple, here also the same equation. I is equal to I omega into omega p. That is C. I omega, both are same for previous case also the same. But omega p will be, for pitching it will be different. You have to use this equation. In the previous case, we used V by R is equal to omega p. So, here we use this equation for pitching. So that's what we discussed here. Omega P max is equal to phi into omega naught. Omega naught is equal to 2 pi by TP. Right? So here, pitching, we are going to see four cases. That is anti-clockwise direction, pitching upward. Anti-clockwise direction, pitching downward. Clockwise direction, pitching upward. Clockwise direction, pitching downward. Four cases. We are going to see one case. We are going to see one case. For other cases, you can... Uh, get right now. So here, when you view from this direction, the propeller is rotating in counterclockwise direction. Counterclockwise direction. When it is rotating in counterclockwise direction, you have to keep the hand like this, fingers like this. So this indicates the direction of rotation. Now, this is uh, pitching upward. Pitching upward. Pitching upward means this is pitching upward. This is pitching upward. If this is pitching upward, then you have to keep the hand like this. You have to keep the hand like this. Right? Now, this is a direction of active gyroscopic couple. Active gyroscopic couple. Then we want reactive. We want reactive. That is opposite direction. So this is the reactive gyroscopic couple. Then what will be the effect? This is... Um, taking, uh, it is steering right, steering right, steering right. That will be the effect, right? It is steering, it is uh, turning the bow towards right, Turn, turning the bow towards right. Suppose if it is downward, downward node means it will be acting like this. Instead of uh, uh, counter luggage direction and the steering downward, steering downward means it will be acting like this. That is, it will uh, turn the bow towards left. Turn the bow towards left. Right? That's what uh, we can understand. So now we will solve. Uh, this is uh, rolling. This is rolling. Rolling. This is a direction of rotation. This is a direction of rotation. Rolling also happening in the same axis. 
rolling also happening in the same axis so there is no gyroscopic couple in case of rolling in case of rolling there is no gyroscopic couple uh, in case of rolling the axis of uh, spinning and axis of precision both happen in the same axis so there is no gyroscopic couple for gyroscopic couple the axis of precision and axis of spinning must be perpendicular must be perpendicular but here it is parallel so there is no gyroscopic couple due to rolling now we are going to see one problem we are going to see one problem so in this problem a, tur a turbine rotor of a ship has a mass of 2000 kg 2000 kg mass is equal to 2000 kg 2000 this is another turbine rotor of ship it rotates at speed of 3000 rpm n is equal to 3000 n is equal to 3000 rpm and clockwise it is in rotation when c from the rear when c from the rear it is clockwise the radius of gyration is 500 that is k k is equal to 500 millimeter so it is 500 millimeter means in meter it is 0 0.5 meters <coughs> and uh, determine the gyroscopic couple you have to find the gyroscopic couple and its effect of ship is steering right at a curve. So, for, so the next you are going to see steering. We are going to see for steering. What is the uh, radius of the curve? It is radius is equal to 100 meters. 100 meters and steering speed is 30 kilometer. Velocity is 30 kilometer per hour. So it is turning like this. So then what will be the value of omega b? Omega b is equal to v by r. V by r. So velocity you got to put in meter per second. Meter per second. So 30 into 1000 divided by 3600 into 100. So this will give omega b. So what will be the value of omega b? That is 8.08 radian per second. Similarly, omega. What is the value of omega? Omega is equal to n is equal to 3000. So 2 pi, 2 pi n by 60. So what will be the omega? So the omega value will be 314. 314.15 radian per second. Then you can calculate the value of i. We can calculate the value of i. i is equal to mk square. m is equal to 2000 into k square 0.5 square so the value of i is equal to 500 kg meter square so these are all the data so now for steering let us calculate for steering let us calculate what is the c is equal to i into omega into omega p i into omega into omega p so i is equal to 500 into Omega is equal to 314. 314.15 into omega P is equal to 808. Then the value will be 13080 Newton meter. So this will be the value of gyroscopic couple during steering. Now we are going to see for gyroscopic couple for pitching. For pitching. So for this also, the equation is i into omega into omega p. i, omega are same as previous case, but omega will be different. What is omega p? We have discussed phi into omega naught. What is omega naught? Omega naught is equal to 2 pi by tp, time period. Here in this problem, cal gyroscopic tar and its effect when ship, pitch, uh, ship is pitching in simple harmonic motion with bow falling with the maximum velocity the period of pitching is 50 seconds it is 50 seconds so 2 pi by 50 that will give the omega p that will give the omega that will give omega naught that value will be 0 0.126 radian per second 
radian per second. That is omega naught. What is the value of phi? Phi is given uh, total uh, 12 degrees. 12 de that total angular displacement between two extreme position, two extreme position. That is from top to bottom, but we want only half of that. So that is 12 by two, that is six. Phi is equal to six, phi is equal to six. But we want in degree uh, radians. So omega naught is equal to phi, that is six into pi by 180 into 0.126. That will be omega naught. So omega naught is equal to 0 0.1315 radian per second. Now, gyroscopic couple during pitching C is equal to I. I already we have, this is 500. Omega also we have, that is 314, 314.15. Omega naught is equal to 0 0.1315. Now, this gyroscopic couple will be 2066 Newton meter. So, gyroscopic couple during pitching is this valley. During steering is this valley. So, this is the way we have to solve this problem.